All right, the Yellow Jackets coming off a 33-3 win over the Otterbein Cardinals to start OAC play. And we're joined here post-game by head coach Jim Hilbert, by defensive end Wesley Spence, and by wide receiver Chad Steinwalks. Uh, the Yellow Jackets played a, a terrific game, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Coach, let's start with you. Your general thoughts on the game, uh, starting with the defense, where you, you put together a terrific performance. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really was happy the way we bounced back from last week. I didn't think we played well as a defensive unit, and our offense did a great job last week. I thought this week we really played well. We were in tune to emotionally, played with a lot of emotion. Guys were flying around at the ball. Uh, we made their, their quarterback uncomfortable. Uh, we stopped the run, and we made him one-dimensional, and we got after him. Uh, I thought a lot of guys contributed to the defense, and we gave the ball to our offense. I think our offense, we had a couple turnovers, gave the ball to our offense. I think offensively we had two long drives that sustained. It took off a lot of time off the clock, which also helps with the defense not being out there as much. And it's a total team effort. You know, I think our guys did a great job. Jamie Marshall did a great job kicking the field goal at the end, bouncing back from missing one. But a total team effort, bouncing back from last year to this week, starting off the OAC uh, with a big win at home uh, under the lights. And I was really proud of the guys, the way they played. While we, the way we bounced back, the way we handled ourselves. Wesley, one of the things that a lot of people are going to look at, Otterbein, 48 plays for 130 yards, and those numbers are great. The one that really stands out to me, uh, Otterbein, one of 12 on third down, and yeah. it almost felt like two and out. Yeah. What's that mentality when you put them, even if they're in third in manageable situations, to try to get your offense back on the field? It's, it's killer instinct. you got to get after it. Most of the time, we had them in third and long, so we were thinking pass first, pinning our ears back and going. Our DNs did a great job. Aja did well until he got hurt. Jake Schrock really stepped up. The tackles, and they, the tackles stopped the QB run game. That's that was big coming in. We thought they were going to try to run the ball on us second and long. We we did a really good job executing our game plan. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, Chad, on the offensive side. Maybe a, a little bit of a slow start. Uh, I know the first possession didn't go well, but even throughout the first half, felt like the, the first quarter was a, an odd rhythm. And then you guys started to kind of find it a group. Was there anything that was said or done that kind of helped spark that, or was it just kind of getting in the rhythm of the game? I think it was just getting in the rhythm of the game. You know, the, uh, the first drive, we were doing well. We had that fumble that kind of set us back, but the defense that played a great game in the first half. Uh, Helped us get the ball back a couple of times and just getting back into that rhythm, like you said, in the first half and then into the second half where we were really flying around, uh, connecting on all cylinders and put a great game. Coach, I know it sounds simple, but when you get in the red zone and you convert over and over and over again the way you have the first couple of weeks, it feels like the game becomes easy. What kind of things do you guys do during the week to, to focus on being successful inside the tournament? First of all, I'm glad you said it was easy. I didn't feel easy. But anyway, uh, for us, like I said, I think it's putting our kids in situations during the week with, you know, if it's blitz pickup, two minutes, red zone, all that type of stuff, competitive situations, and, you know, making our kids uncomfortable, knowing they have to respond during practice, and I think it makes the games easy. And I tell our guys all the time, I th I'm going to put pressure on you during the week. I'm going to be all over you during the week. I want to make sure so the games are easier. And hopefully with that type of mentality, our guys understand why I'm all over them during the week and that the games on Saturday afternoon are a lot easier. And our, like I said, our guys responded. I was really happy how we came out emotionally into the game. We were very, very focused. Uh, you know, we were into it. Uh, and which, you know, then it's for us, I, I think that's for, for our opponents to be in for a long night. Chad, offensively, you guys had a lot more success throwing the football tonight. As a fan, I think it's really fun to watch the offense when you know it's a deep playbook, when you have three different guys capable of throwing the football, and then Ty throws the football on a, on a, a special trick play. Um, how do you keep things straight when you know you're learning the playbook and, and there are so many different options available to you? Yeah, it is a lot of fun. we got a lot of guys, a lot of seniors. Uh, anybody can make a play at any time. Like you said, we had three or two guys throw the ball. We had a wide receiver throw the ball. So it's just getting into that playbook and uh, knowing every position and just having a lot of fun with it, going out there and executing the game plan. Wesley, you led the team tonight, eight tackles, had one sack and, and two tackles for loss. I know it was a tough week for you, and I saw you at one point uh, point to the sky when, uh, when you had made a big play. How difficult was it for you to play with kind of a heavy heart this week? Honestly, it wasn't difficult difficult at all. Football has always been my escape. I've had all these guys, coaches, teammates, everybody's been here for me. Everybody's had my back. You don't know, you don't even know. The amount of support I received this week made this easy. Glad to hear that for sure. Coach, I, I, I don't want to ask you too much about the week coming up, but it's hard not to look at the schedule and say, hey, ideally, get off to a good start. You win the first couple of games, and then you've got to play the defending national champion. Um, in terms of your preparation for the week ahead, 
do you feel like you've accomplished everything you wanted to these first two games to put yourself in a good spot going into week three? Yeah, the biggest thing is just to get confidence as a football team. And I really, I mean, I really, it's, you know, I talk about to our guys, it's all about us getting confidence. And that we obviously, I think we gained confidence as a, as a whole football program going into this week. Obviously, we know we have our hands full. National championship team. They got a lot of obviously a lot of talent, a lot of good, very well coached. But I know our guys are excited about the opportunity of being able to play at home, homecoming, community day uh, next Saturday. I guess obviously a really good football team. Wesley, from a from an offense point of view, you guys as a defense want to absolutely dominate that outer line. Yeah. Uh, whether it be you know Mike or you and Ty checking in, kind of in those pass searching, yeah. as I call it, NASCAR situations. You know, how can you take that into this big week against Mount, against you know a huge opponent, and take that and say, look, we have you know the potential to single handedly win a game just on the front seven alone. We just got to keep doing what we do. When our guys are on, when our guys are making plays, doing the right thing, we're unstoppable. Simple as that. Unique to Otterbein, were there any challenges tonight that, that they presented a question for any of that, you know, things that maybe they did that uh, took extra preparation this week or, or things tonight that perhaps caught you off guard you had to adjust on the fly? Uh, yeah, for the offensive side of the ball, they run a lot of different coverages on defense, uh, depending on whether it's three by one, two by two, empty, stuff like that. So just really watching film, uh, getting into the new plays. They just ran a lot of stuff in the backfield, but uh, we executed well. Yeah, and on uh, the defensive side of the ball, we noticed in our film study that they will, might rotate tackles and kick that big number 73 into guard. It came up, and we did. We excelled after it, so it was just film study. Coach, last thing I'll ask you about is halftime. Um, it felt like toward the end of that first half, the drives you were putting together started to add a little bit more meat to them, and the second half, whether it resulted in a turnover on downs or points, your drives were longer in terms of yardage, in terms of time. What changed? You know, I think it's just about executing. I really, it's a big thing. You know, when you are, and, and Spence hit on that, like defense, we were on the same page all game. I think offensively, we finally got on the same page. We started executing better, guys started blocking the right guys, and then we started turning the clock started wearing on them. They were out in the field for a long time. We, we were on the field for offense, 37 minutes. Wow. That's a long time. 37 minutes is a long time. That's a long time to play defense. So you can wear on that defense, you know, and you're eventually the dam's going to break. And I thought that we did that in the second half.